warm welcome to this special episode of ET Government's Digital India Leadership Series. My name is Anup Verma. Today, our guest for this special episode is Dr. Hira Lal Patel. He is an IS officer currently serving as Special Secretary in the Department of Irrigation, Government of Uttar Pradesh. He is known for the work that he is doing in the area of combating climate change, safeguarding the environment, and various other social causes. He is highly regarded as an inspirational speaker and he is the author of a book called Dynamic DM. The topic of my today's conversation with Dr. Hiral Al Patel is his book Dynamic DM, the lessons that uh, he wants to impart through that book, and the social and environmental issues that he exposes. Welcome Dr. Hiral Al. Why did you think of writing the book Dynamic DM? What is the essence of this book? Actually, I was a collector in District Vada between August 2018 to February 2020. So, I did many experiments, many innovations, I took many initiatives, which brought good results, amazing results, unexpected results. So, I prepared a booklet containing all my work uh, in a booklet form. So, some people advised me there itself that after your going, after your transfer from this post of district magistrate, this all good work will go with you and nobody in future will be able to avail the benefit of your good work. So it will be better to write a book. From there, this idea is started and uh, today we have the booklet into a book form in three languages, Hindi, English and Gujarati and it is the best-selling book. Uh, Dainik Jagran published uh, in uh, published in 10 best-selling books uh, all over in India. That is one time big deal. That is my book. So this is the brief story how idea of writing a book came into my mind. So you already you just said that you were the DM of Banda. Yes. So how was your experience of uh, serving as DM? And uh, what would you see as your biggest achievements as DM there? Actually, there is three posts in country, hmm. which is most challenging, most charming, and most sought after. That is the PM at uh, country level, CM at uh, state level, and DM at district level. PM, CM, and DM. So, DA, it is the perception in the masses that a DM is the solution of all the problems under the sky. This is the concept. This is the perception of the masses. When I went as a collector in Bada and I was there for one and a half year, I tried to test this perception and I was successful in that, that this perception is true. So, uh, my experience was amazing and I tried to change the lives of the people of the Bada, public of the Bada and I got success to a greater extent. So, I am satisfied with my that tenure and with my that experiment and I learned a lot. All my experience, experiences has been written chapter-wise in the book of Dynamic Team. Yes. <clears throat> so, uh, in your view, what are the key qualities a DM should have? You always said that uh, PM, CM and DM are the critical jobs in the country. So, what are the key qualities that DM should have and other government administrators as well? Okay. So, this is the book Dynamic DM. This is the book Dynamic DM in the English. Okay. So, on the page number 192, already I have written a gist of the book. So, first point, winning public trust should be our top most priority. Uh, DM high priority. The, what is, which one is the top most? Winning the trust of the masses. Adoption and promotion of local attire, to shine, admitting minimum bhojan, language and cultural activity. Giving importance to the rich experience and information of the less educated and common people and adopting them. Fourth uh, lesson which I have uh, listed in my is to develop the ability to get things done with power of love instead of power of punishment. 
पावर ऑफ वी मस्ट यूज पावर ऑफ लव नॉट द पावर ऑफ पनिशमेंट कीप लर्निंग कंटिन्यूसली ओके अचीविंग सक्सेस बाय वर्किंग विद पब्लिक पार्टिसिपेशन एंड अवेलेबल रिसोर्सेज सेवेंथ इज ब्रिजिंग द गैप बिटवीन द गवर्नमेंट एंड सोसाइटी सरकार एंड समाज के बीच की दूरी कम कर एर्थ इज टेकिंग क्विक डिसीजन एंड सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम केमिकेबली डिले जस्टिस डिले जस्टिस डिनाई ये सेइंग व्हिच इज एप्लीकेबल टू दिस आईडी टेकिंग क्विक डिसीजंस एंड सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स एमिकेबली ट्राइंग टू परफॉर्म ईच टॉक्स इन अ न्यू न्यू वे टू टू डू द सेम थिंग डिफरेंटली दैट इज द इनोवेशन वी डू नॉट वी आर नॉट रूलर्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर बट पब्लिक सर्वेंट्स वी शुड ऑलवेज वर्क विद दिस thought process that we are not rulers we are not administrators we are public servants and 11th characteristic which i have is stay away from the ego opposition and power and its intoxication be simple humble and empathetic so in the gist i have written 11 points so that if any people if any person is not able to read whole book by reading the gist one can get the idea uh, of the book. this is the uh, motto of writing the gist on the page of 192 so this is the answer of your question yes so uh, what you are saying is uh, i mean the gist that you have given it's very amazing and um, in a country like india where i mean uh, uh, especially people at the junior level when they have, have recently joined and uh, uh, they are unable to uh, have this kind of humility bring this kind of humility in their work so how did you bring it how did you experience gain this wisdom and uh, bring this uh, this kind of humility and understanding to your uh, task okay we don't see I it think... in uh, most um, i mean uh, districts this kind of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah yes i got your question actually i was born and brought up in a village in around 90s 66 that is my birth year 66 67 in a small village in district basti so my childhood was basically i belong to a farming family so my childhood was uh, uh, in uh, a small village undeveloped village so i have seen all the hardships in my childhood so that is in my blood okay so that experience and after getting into the job i tried to see that the people under my jurisdiction should not face that problem those problem which i have seen in my childhood so with this mindset i started working so i started working in the field so i got education in the name of experience i gathered too much experience and along side by side i keep continue my study after coming into the job i did uh, my mpa from usa one year up there after i did my phd right now i am a student i am doing delete after completing it i i am planning to take another course so likewise i am uh, having both type of rich assets capitals that is the classroom learning as well as field room learning so i am padha phd and kadha phd both and i am a continuous learner i am a continuous student so experience and uh, book learning both has made me this what you wanted to i am different at all so when you interact with your colleagues in uh, ias and other departments so um, what kind of response uh, do you get for this kind of ideas that we should um, uh, with humility serve the people and uh, do our work actually i go i always receive good response because good is good if i am good with you how you can bad with me and uh, that is the truth but whether 
they are able to implement that good thing in his life like me or not it depends upon that personality and mostly are not doing that mostly are not able to implement that good they like good things but mm -hmm. they are not able to implement that good thing learning continuously in field and in classroom in institutions it is difficult to do but both are good everybody desire to do that but uh, getting it done in the field is difficult and they are not able to do that's why i am different because i am able along with being a uh, senior officer in the uh, government you are also an activist for social and environmental causes so uh, you are um, uh, working in the area of uh, climate change and uh, uh, green technologies. So how do you see the problem of climate change affecting the life of people in this country? Each and every aspect of our life is widely affected by the climate change. Hmm. The most dangerous part is that nobody understands this. That is the most dangerous situation. So, the most challenge as per me, as per my experience, how to convince all the masses that your life is in danger because is in danger because of climatic change, mm -hmm. and you need and you are contributing in climatic change. Please stop contributing the climate change to save yourself. Yourself. People say save Mother Earth. I used to say, don't save Mother Earth, save yourself. When you will save yourself, in turn, you will save Mother Earth. So this is the most uh, glaring problem in the climate change that more than 95% don't know what is the climate change, what is the climate, and what is the devastating effect of the climate change. Mm -hmm. So they are contributing it because each action and activity we are doing from starting in the morning till the sleeping each steps in each steps we are creating carbons and carbon means green gas so we need to change our methods we need to change our style so that either we should not reduce the carbon in our action and activities which is essential to keep alive one thing or if we are producing we should make arrangement to kill that to destroy that so um, but india is a very poor country most people are struggling to make a living and infrastructure in terms of infrastructure we are far behind most countries uh, in western countries and um, china taiwan south korea they have built a huge infrastructure so we are now starting to build those infrastructure. In the last 10, 15 years, we have made a lot of progress. So one way of curbing climate change would be to reduce the infrastructure-related activity. But that will have an impact on the lives of the people. They will not be able to earn much money. So what? how do we make our choices? Okay, there are two ways. There is a line. If you want to shorten the line, either you erase that line, one, one method, or you draw a big line. In my earlier question, I answered this question. How? Two things. In each and every essence, we are creating carbon. We are producing carbon. Either reduce that carbon, either reduce that carbon, or do not produce that carbon. Two situations. So, if you are producing, what you are trying to say, ki we will do the development activities, carbon will develop. develop carbon. Do the development activity, produce the carbons, no issue. But the carbon produced by your action and activities, take the actions to kill that, to destroy that carbon. So to, to do that, what is required? We require to change our mindset. We can plant trees and that trees can absorb your this carbon to convert that into oxygen. We are not planting the trees we are cutting the trees if we are planting the trees that will not survive and we will say i we have planted that much amount of that we are focusing on tree plantation 
we are not focusing on the tree survival. That's why when I was collector in Bada, I replaced the scheme from tree plantation to tree survival company. So by changing the management method, we can get both. Our progress will be not hampered and our climate change contribution will be reduced to zero. Each maid must have trees. I was observer in Punjab. Every maid that is the boundary of in the fields is having that tree. In the villages, we have the space in that space around our houses. If we put the we if we ensure the tree plantation and its survival, our village will look from the top like a garden. But we are not doing our, if you see a village, there you will not get any uh, plant, tree. But you have the space to plant in the cities, in big, in small pots, you can uh, plant tree to produce as much oxygen as you are consuming to destroy the carbon, to kill the carbon as much as carbon you are producing in your developmental activity or in your daily routine life. So both is possible. We need to change our methodology. This will happen only when, when people, each and every people will start thinking we are the culprits in the climatic change which is not existing, which is not the understanding of the process. Mm -hmm. That is the issue. No, uh, climate change is also a global issue. It is not something that we can take action in one district like you did. Uh, very good work in Banda. But if the other countries are not cooperating or other parts of the country are not cooperating, China is not cooperating, let's say USA, um, some certain nations, fast-growing nations in Africa, South America, they are not cooperating. Then despite doing uh, planting trees and surviving, uh, uh, taking campaigns to sur for survival of trees, will not be able to solve this problem. So this also needs some kind of geopolitical action. So how yes. do you see that? Uh, problem? Your, the answer to your question is COP already, already sensitization, framing policy at global level is in picture people are sensitized, COP is happening, okay, and every country is, as per the policy of the COP, every country is setting their own uh, targets and they are trying to achieve that. So globally, this is a issue and through COP, mostly countries, out of 192 countries, mostly countries is a partner to this uh, COP, COP, everybody is participating, everybody is cooperating, except uh, barring a few. For example, during Trump, I, I, if I am correct in my memory, they have gone out, but again they have come in. So barring a few countries, 99% countries are in agreement that we should at global level fight this issue to defeat this climatic change devastating effect come in a in in one not separately so cop is one biggest example of your question at global level to hmm. fight this now um, in the last um, about 40 years there's a huge jump in the human population in the world uh, today i think it's around 9 billion so, uh, so many human beings, then we need more farmland. We need more um, uh, um, food, more clothes, more trading, more jobs, everything. So, uh, perhaps uh, the climate change issue is some way related to the population issue. Yes, Unless the population is brought down, it cannot um, be. But if population is brought down, then economic activity gets hampered. For instance, in Japan, yeah, Germany, where the birth rates have declined, they are having problem of um, uh, finding the workers for their factories. So what is the answer? So this is a very uh, difficult problem then. Yes. Actually, the population, the increased population due to population explosion, we need more earth than one. 
it is some people some organization has calculated that we require three earth we require two earth some has written two point many findings has, but mm -hmm. one earth is not sufficient to sir to supply the resources required to sustain the life okay but we can reduce the problem gravity to a greater extent by reducing by eliminating the misuse and overuse of the resources by so the problem whatever we can that we are not doing we can stop misuse of resources we can stop uh, if i can bear one cloth if i need one cloth i am bearing 10 clothes so in rest nine making in rest nine we are misusing the resources so overuse misuse is the solution by eradicating misuse or reducing the misuse and overuse we this is one solution likewise there are many other solutions which is in picture through that we can oh, we can get the solution of this more than one earth required. Simplicity is in, in very short, in very simple answer. Simplicity. We are now living pump and so non productive things and uh, so off. So, in such activities, misuse and overuse is the norm. That's why. Uh, the question of uh, this has arised in my opinion. Okay. You you are looking after irrigation department in Uttar Pradesh. So irrigation is by itself a very I mean uh, environmentally it it can be a damaging thing because you are diverting water and uh, farmlands and farms are a huge uh, uh, carbon em emitters. So, can uh, should there be some kind of transformation in the way we uh, manage our irrigation projects? Yes, already we are doing. I am sitting and giving this interview in the Greater Sarda Command Area Development Office. This is the chairman office. I am a special secretary irrigation as well as I am chairman of the corporation authority, the Greater Sarda Command Area Development. So already we are changing the method of irrigation from flood irrigation to micro irrigation. One drop more crop and don't irrigate the land, irrigate the crop. That is some few words to make understand. So to change the mindset of my official public, we did many events with the help of NGOs like World Bank and the irrigation companies which are working to, to produce many micro irrigation equipments, get the markets. So already we are in the process to do some experiment to do some pilot project in Raiburelli district. We are in the process, currently we are in the process of framing the projects after, uh, in the guidance of government of India, state government and uh, international organization who are having the expertise in the micro irrigation. So first step already we have completed that flood irrigation is now gone thing replace that flood irrigation to micro irrigation to save the water that is the water conservation this is this is the progress and we are already working in the recent elections you campaigned for green elections in the country now elections can be a very i mean uh, environmentally damaging because uh, a lot of movement is there and so many people are on the campaign trail there is a lot of paper uh, that is being published uh, hoardings are being erected so in a noisy and intense democracy like India, is it possible to have a green elections at a national level? In my people, there is nothing impossible. And it is written very well. So I follow everything is possible. Okay. The possibility extent is very kind by the complete possible, 50% possible, 25% possible. So 
answer to your uh, to your this question this is the booklet of the green election this is the booklet of green election which i published and uh, this is an other booklet of that green election which i conducted as general observer in district group nagar mm -hmm. in punjab in recently concluded parliamentary constituency so when i went there on 13th may and election was on 4th uh, june 4th june probably or 1st june so within 19 days and that uh, anand six anand saha parliamentary constituency was spreading for districts i discussed within 90 days i created this model of green election so i did same thing how to reduce the use of plastic made things and replace that by biodegradable items one thing second thing i sensitized them and i forced them i convinced them that plant tree before going to vote and if that is not possible on that they take a place that you will plant and ensure that tree survival campaign and i uh, in, in 19 days i have created a model and it is uh, done by all everybody appreciated my this initiative because the guideline to conduct green election is already enforced by the election commission of india election commission of india expects through guidelines from every district election officer all machinery that election should be free fair and eco friendly eco friendly means green election so i have and it is possible now this model is created again i am going as observer in mumbai i am leaving lucknow to fly bombay on 20th i'll be there till 23rd because on 20th november election that is election day or 20th and 23rd is counting day. So there also I will try. So start is very difficult, which I have made. And this is well document, mostly new child papers has covered this. And now replication is required. And not only that, globally, in recently concluded election of uh, London, UK, there is a Green Party, four MPs elected from the Green Party. And I have studied from the online resources, almost 400 public representatives at national level in parliament, at the state level in state assemblies, and councillors in municipal corporation and in local bodies are elected on green party are green related issues so this green election is getting ground if we have 400 around 400 if this is not the exact number representative at different levels on this issue and party name is also green party so it means already a start has been made and progress is also uh good but not we cannot say excellent we need to uh, accelerate it that and uh, this my effort is in that direction i am trying to accelerate this issue in india and if this is a global issue that's why i have written green election a global model for sustainable democracy transforming elections with green initiative global what i did in bada that is local but implementable is global that's why i have connected both words in short global model my this green election is a global model so uh, now that uh, you are uh, working on these all these areas also at a global level so is it possible that you might write a second book Yes, like I have already. I have written already. I have written twenty percent of my second book. I am in the process to get a good name for the second book. I for the content of the book, I am not able. I have listed twenty names, but I am not. I am not able to decide which name I should. Still, name is also 
नेम सारी चीज आल्सो गोइंग ऑन आई हैव डिसाइडेड चैप्टर्स इफ इट विल कंटेन ऑलमोस्ट टेन चैप्टर्स वन चैप्टर आई एस व्हाट आई एस शुड बी दैट वाज ए क्वेश्चन एंड आई विल राइट वन आई 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 सोशल Entrepreneur that in that I will write my project model. Now I social leader. I will write. Uh, I will write uh, my work. Uh, of community development. I am associated. I am member of a organization with, uh, since last ten years. How we are mobilizing the farmers to increase their income. I am reformer. How I have reformed the election process within ninety days. In two thousand nineteen, as DO, public district magistrate, Bada, I increased the voting percentage by ten point five percent, highest record. And in two thousand fourteen election, as general observer, I have created this green election model. So I did reform in elections into a consecutive election. So this I will write as reformer. Likewise, mm. innovator. I say myself that I am ten in one. I am working in ten domains. I mm. one domain is climatic change. Mm. So, in my second book, I will write my ten domain work which I have already done in the last four years, and it will be like that with the. Thank you, Dr. Iradal. It's very very nice talking to you. I wish you best for the next book and all the social campaigns that you are doing. Thank you, thank you for inviting me for this interview. As well as asking very tricky, important, and questions which will be most beneficial for the society if they will listen our this interview. Thank you, Sukriya. Thank you. Thank you.